lose weight, they'll drop lower on your hips or your stomach. And they're gonna get tighter if your ass been eating, sis. <laughs> Grand Rising family, it's Tuesday. I'm lying, it's Monday. It's the 12th. Y'all, I sat at my house last night, so that's why the surroundings look different, child. I literally, um, my eyes still look sleepy because I literally stay up until like 3 or 4 this morning because I had and still have so much to do, but I got a lot done yesterday. I got a lot done last night. I had like a whole 24 to just sit back and get into my zone. And when I got into my zone, I did not want to stop. So, yeah, I just let myself be. Um, things have been kind of discouraging. Like, shout out to my cousins, you know, for coming through the shop to help the other day. Put my shelves up. Cricket, Janice, I appreciate y'all so much if y'all watching. That really meant a lot to me because, like I said, things was I was getting so discouraged because people kept letting me down, you know. People kept letting me down. I know people have their own lives. And, look, we're just not going to discuss it no more because it's been happening since the beginning and it's continuous. <laughs> it's still happening. But what's important is that I still have people that do um, support me and they're still here and they're still helping me. And they have been from day one. And I'm just not going to focus on who doesn't want to give me their energy for this journey because it's really something that's for me. It's not for everybody else. It is, but it's not, you know. This is kind of personal to me because I put in so much work for these past three years and some change just on this alone. And, you know, in life you want, like, your family, your friends, your acquaintances, you want everybody to be proud of you. You want everybody to be happy for you. Not saying that you need validation from them to know that you're doing great or acknowledgement, but that's just what you want. That's what you expect because that's the type of person you are. And I'm speaking in third person. That's the type of person I am. I'm happy and I root for everybody. I'm going to show up for you. I'm going to bring you a gift. I'm going to be here. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But these past few months and even the last couple of months of 2020, it's been very trying. And I've really been just still making it do what it do. We all just out here winging it, you know. Nobody's story is worse than the next. It is somebody that's always going through something worse than you. But we all have a story. We all have a testimony. We all have hurts. We all have pains. We all have dreams. We all have it. We all have it. We all have to go through these things. But anyways, um... Today, um, I'm just about to straighten up my house just a little bit, and I think I'm going to make me a cinnamon coffee. I know it's not fall, but because I really enjoy, like, cinnamon and pumpkin spice in, like, the fall. But um, I think I want a cinnamon coffee that's rising, and that's what I'm going to make me after. I'm going to wash up a couple of dishes and queue up my YouTube videos and get my mind right. My little cousin's supposed to be outside cutting my grass, but I don't know where he went. I don't know if he ran out of gas. I don't know what happened, but the lawnmower is sitting in the yard and he is gone. And the grass is not even half done. But anyways, he'll come around. Y'all see how long my nails is? It's so long. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make me a cinnamon coffee and then I'm going to get my mood back right. And then we're going to get busy yet again Um. And once I make myself look a little bit better, I am going to show y'all some of the new products and inventory that we have to add to the store. So, I'll just see y'all in a few minutes, okay? Okay, y'all. I'm back. It's a little after 11. So, um, I got my cinnamon coffee. And I'm sorry, y'all. I Look, y'all gonna get all the pajamas and hair wrap today. Because I need to wash my hair. So, it's detangled and I got in some Sealy braids. Don't worry about that. But, so, uh, let's see. Got my coffee, and I'm just going to sit down a little bit and tell y'all what I've been working on. 
So those of you who know me, y'all know that I make candles. Well, that's my specialty. But that's not the only thing that I'm gifted at creating. I am the creatress. So I have been adding things into my store. When I started my business, I didn't want to just have like only candles. I wanted a store, a store where you can buy other things as well. Not necessarily a gift shop, but or boutique. I thought about calling my store a candle boutique, but I have more than candles and I the boutique thing is like really big right now, but I don't have a boutique. I have a shop. That's what I have. A S H O P P E, a shop. So anyways, I didn't want to just limit myself only to just uh, candles. And being that I am a divine creatress, I didn't want to only make my business, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't want to make my business only welcoming, maybe, to um, the people in the spiritual community. Um, because I am part of the spiritual community, and I didn't want to just limit myself to just that because I want everyone to feel welcome. You know, we get very misunderstood a lot of times. So, um, I have a safe space for everyone to feel welcome. I don't care what you believe in. Um, I have something that you'll like, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, so smell it sits in more. I'm gonna show y'all some of the in more today. And I'm kind of excited about one of the uh, new arrivals that I have into my store because it's something that I've been into for a while. And um, it's something that a lot of females are into right now. And I'm excited about having them. And I'm going to show y'all in just a few minutes. But first, I want to show y'all the new lip oil collection that I have. So, starting off, and all of them don't have labels yet, y'all. That's what I'm working on, too. It's a lot of, I had to create labels, and I, it, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. But here, in part of our goddess collection, and of course, I'm going to say our, because it's ours. It's not just mine. It is, but, you know. Um, this is my new goddess oil. This is goddess lip oil. If y'all can read it, I'm not exactly sure. But this is my new goddess lip oil. And it's all natural, 100% pure herbs and oils used here. I'm not going to give y'all all the ingredients, but... It includes vitamin E supplements, as well as um, castor oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and a bunch of other blends because I'm not going to give y'all my recipe, sis. But, goddess lip oil, and it does have um, flowers in it. It also has shimmers in it, but they will not be on your lips. That's just for aesthetic reasons. And also because... They are supposed to represent honeycombs. Goddess B. You know what it is. I mean, come on. So that's my new goddess lip oil. I love this one. I have this one for myself. It's in my purse. But this is um, our new agave rosé lip oil. If y'all can see. That's the agave rosé oil. And again, it's all natural, 100%. And I'm also not going to tell y'all my ingredients. But the agave rosé includes honey, agave, as well as roses. So you're going to get all the benefits from all of these good things in here, sis. And it makes your lips look so, like... It's like... some A lot of women don't wear gloss, but a lot of us do. But this isn't glossy. This is going to be your instant relief for when it get cold outside, sis, and your lips get cracked and, like, you know, painful. This is your instant relief. All of these lip oils are going to be your instant relief for anything you're dealing with, with rough, dry skin on your lips. And it's going to give you instant relief and make your lips so soft and kissable. And, sis, when your man kiss you, it's not going to rub off on his lips. He's just going to feel soft, smooth baby lips. And it also has, like, a lip plumping effect, if you ask me. 
But that's our agave rose. Third and last, let me take a sip for my coffee to get cold, y'all. Any of these yet? But this is the peony and jasmine lip oil. Peony and jasmine have a lot of benefits, spiritual um, benefits as well as um, for your skin. And help. all of these have spiritual benefits, but they're going to help your lips and your skin as well. And you really don't even have to just limit yourself to using this on your lips. You can use it on parts of your body, but, you know, it comes with the roller oil for your lips. That's what it's for. So we have the peony and jasmine lip oil. And this one is jasmine scented. The other two are not. But this one is peony and jasmine. So that's what we have in our lip oil collection. I'm just so excited about all this. So next I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm going to leave these here even though I got stuff everywhere. I just want to show y'all a couple of more things. With our lip glosses, we now have wine tubes available. This is Miss Prissy. Y'all really enjoyed Miss Prissy, um, one of my new lip glosses, one of my new pigmented lip glosses. Really enjoyed that. So I have brought Miss Prissy back, and she's going to be available in the wine tube, the block wine tube that. Now, a lot of y'all may or may not know my story, but if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I created a lip gloss in memory of my baby Maddie, as well as my little cousin Maddie, who was killed in a car accident when she was five. So, for the Maddie collection, we have brought back, once again, Maddie's lollipop lip gloss in the 15 milliliter squeeze tube. They're not labeled yet, but... Maddie's bag, my baby sold out. And now we have a new gloss to add to Maddie's collection. Now to the Maddie collection, we are adding cotton candy. So Maddie now has a cotton candy lollipop lip gloss. And she will be available um, inside of a Maddie's pack, which will include one of both of these as well as a hair scrunchie, a lip scrub, and some candy for the girls for back to school, y'all. But you might love your Maddie's too, sis, because, look, I ain't came to play when I made this. People loved Maddie's lollipop lip gloss. Even even though you would think it was for little girls, since we out here, we out here wearing Maddie's. Hello, and we're going to continue. Pretty excited about that, especially. Um... Y'all see the joy that comes over me. When you go through things like trials and triumphs and um, have all these obstacles you go through in life, heartbreaking situations, losses, deaths, things like that, you want to just live in your pain and just sit there. But I learned you got to transmute that energy and turn it into something else. So I use my grief and sadness and heartbreak and I turn it into something beautiful and something memorable and something sentimental that means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? These are my heart. These. Everything that I do, these. Getting a little choked up while I'm talking about it. But anyways, y'all, moving along. Um, we are back with the Goddess Bee Honeycomb Kiss Me Gloss. And we have... Her available in the 8 milliliter wine tube um, now. And she will also be available in the squeeze tube because what lady doesn't like a good clear gloss? You know what I'm saying? So, we have those. See, that's why I'll be glad when I move everything because it'll be more organized because it's a hot mess. And the other nude that I have this is a melted mocha. This is available in the um, 8 milliliter wine tube as well. The gloss collection is looking like now. So we have added these things in. 
so excited. Go ahead and put these away and then I will show y'all the other thing that I'm super excited about. These little boxes, they come in handy from Dollar Tree because look, this is filled with glosses and stuff and then this other one is filled up with lip oils. But yeah, let me get the labeling these things today. Last but not least. Okay, y'all. So, this is the last new inventory. <coughs> I always choke when I get ready to record. And I'm going to show y'all today. And, um, I do have lots more um, new things to show. I, I'm going to show y'all a couple more things. I'll show y'all a couple more things. Only because... <laughs> Like I said, y'all are going to see this before anybody else. Like, before anybody else, child, y'all going to see it. So, I'm going to show y'all this, and I'm going to show y'all, like, two or three other little things. But they're in the same category. So, y'all, I started a weight loss journey a couple... No, I wouldn't really say a weight loss journey, but it started within, you know what I'm saying? I started working on the inside parts first and then everything else followed. And that's really how you should, you know, move forward with healing and um, just everything in life. Work on the inside first and then everything else will follow. Everything happens in spirit first. But um, I got into these um, a couple of years ago. And I don't have mine on right now, but... For the website, I will make sure that I have um, each option um, with a model or to show y'all exactly how they look. But, y'all, hold the phone. Now adding... Oh, why are they doing that? Why are you going to show out? I'm going to show y'all. This is what we're adding. Oh gosh, y'all can't see it, can you? If you can read it, you'll see where it says, smell a decent and more. Waste beads. Y'all, we have waste beads now. We have waste beads in six or seven different colors and um, variations. They're going to look like outside of the pack. I just had that one inside of a pack. But this is the Princess Waste Bees. And I'm not going to show y'all all of them today. But this is um this is the first kind that I... um This is the first one that I've been working on um, getting cutesy. Because I've never sold accessories or anything like that before. So... It's a lot of things I had to get from Amazon, like these little things like this, just to be able to put um, put things on, hang them up, or however I want to do it. I decided to use the holographic um, bags with the holes in them so I can just hang them up in the store. But um, I'm also going to have some on display so y'all can see how they look without being um, rolled up. So, yeah. This is the princess. Y'all see the others later. I'll tell y'all the names of them, but um, all of them symbolize something spiritually. People wear them traditionally for different reasons. You know, some people will say that it's just traditional. You don't supposed to let people see them. You supposed to, and that's fine. You know, some people that's that's the way they operate, but. Some women just want to feel sexy and they want to awaken their feminine energy. So they might want to feel sexy and put on some waist beads. Some of us are on a weight loss journey and we want to be more aware of our bodies. Like when we lose weight or gain weight. So they keep you very aware. And these are the kind that come with cotton. So they tie on. They're not stretchy, elastic. No. These are going to tie on you. And when you tie them off, they're going to drop if you lose weight. They'll drop lower on your hips or your stomach. And they're going to get tighter if your ass been eating, sis. I mean, it's going to keep you aware. Other than that, 
I have heard that they were used traditionally too to protect the womb, a pregnant woman, to protect the baby. Um, I've heard that some um, cultures, they use them when women are stepping into um, womanhood, when girls get their periods or, you know, whatever. They'll get their first strand of waist beads. Um, those are just some of the reasons, you know. But whatever your reason is, I have them for you, sis. So we have the princess, like I told you about. I have the um, mirror me. Y'all will see. Just listen. I'm going to tell y'all the names of them. And then y'all can use your imagination to figure out what they look like. So that's princess, right? So then we have another um, called Mirror Me, like I said. Then we have um, Chocolate and Gold. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Then we have The Goddess, of course, which will be in the Waste Bee and The Goddess Collection. Then we have um, Abundant Flow, Waste Bees. We have... Um, Hold on, y'all. We have... Y'all, I forgot, okay? But it's okay because y'all got a good idea of what... Um, y'all got a good idea. And I'm mad because I can't remember at the moment. But everything is going to be okay. Go Jack. Okay, so... We have now added... Something else that's very special to me, um, when I started out on my spiritual journey, I'm reaching for my necklace. I don't even have it on, like somewhere in the house. You can tell I always have my stones hanging around my neck or have my amethyst bracelet on. But anyways, um, when I started out on my spiritual journey, I started researching a lot and learning a lot about baths, spiritual baths, um, connecting more to the cosmos, to the moon, um, since our body cycle with the moon, a lot of y'all are not tuned in, but literally we are in tune with the moon and new moon. Sis, we just had the new moon. So I'm going to let you use your imagination and let you figure out where I am with this whole cycle situation. Because <laughs> it seems like that's when I vlog the most is during that time. But anyways, um, it became a big part of my life. Um, Just the peace. The meditation aspect, um, the self-care, the self-love, just the whole thing has really meant so much to me on this journey because y'all spiritual baths will help you in so many ways. And, you know, when I started out, I used to make Instagram videos just to show everybody how beautiful my bath is. I have these sunflowers in the tub and just, it looked so pretty to me, but it was more than about being pretty those flowers was calling for me my spirit you know what i'm saying and it's like oh sis but anyways here we go so we have a bath salt collection now a, a bath salt spiritual bath whatever you whatever your ritual whatever your routine we have something for you so with that I bring y'all the Lucid Lavender Bedtime Bath Sauce. This is good for two to three baths. I'm not going to give y'all prices on these videos because y'all can click on the link and go to the store when it's available. But these are not available on the store yet because I'm still adding all the new inventory. So these are not for sale yet. But this is the Lucid Lavender Bedtime Bath Sauce, like I said. And if you look there, it says Melody Sense and More. It tells you the name of it. We have the ingredients on the back. So that's one new additive. Of my favorite, <laughs> and which I took one of these last night because I really needed it. Um, of course, it's part of the Goddess Collection as well as the new bath salt collection. But we have the Goddess Bath Salts. If you look there, it say Goddess Bath Soak. And it's so pretty, y'all. And it smells so good. Just when you get ready to do this bath, sis, light your candles. And, of course, I have those for you as well. Light your candles. 
bless your space with some Palo Santo. I have that for you too. Or Sage. I got it for you too. Whatever, however you, you know, whatever you want to do, I have it. Set the mood. Set your space. And so it's just unwind with this goddess bath. Unwind with the goddess bath. They got everything that you need here. Got the ingredients on the back of that as well. Once again, all natural, all 100% hand blended, handmade. There you go, sis. Last but not least, <laughs> we have um, going back to the moon. We talk about the moon and its phases and everything that we go through with our bodies, our minds, and just everything during those times. Full moon is also very important because you can release things that no longer serve you. Pause. My bad, y'all. I had to go put on my piece. I had to go put on my chest piece. But anyway, so um, the last thing I was going to show y'all. I was talking about the moon. I had to take a phone call to y'all so I got sidetracked. Y'all know how I do, child. But so um, full moon is the time to release Releasing all aspects, release toxins from your body, release toxins from your spirit, your mind, just everything. And that's why I have created the full moon bath. If y'all can see that, it says full moon bath, smell of these scents and more. And y'all got those ingredients on the back as well. This is going to be your full moon detox bath, but also to welcome in new blessings and release. And release. So if you see in there, it has a plethora, an abundance of flowers on y'all. The way it smells is just, it smells like the goddess child. I'm about to get busy um, and do all of these things. And I'm going to be keeping y'all updated as we go, y'all. Um, Grand opening July 31st. So we got not quite three weeks left, but we're getting it done, y'all. We're getting it done. And I will just see y'all probably on another day when we catch this back up. I'm not going to say, but I'm here for it. And y'all here for it too. Thanks for watching.